Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am filming my end of year TBR. So, um, I have a few books here that I have pulled just because I would like to try and read them before the year ends. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen because my reading's been really off this year. But I would like to try and see if I can succeed. So, um, some of these are books that have already started and I would just like to finish by the end of this year because of one reason or another I like just took a break from reading them. The others are just books I have never started and would like to at least read soon. Let's start with the ones that I have already started. So the first book that I've started that I would like to finish by the end of this year is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Kloon. I started this earlier this year and I just put it down and never picked it back up. Not because I wasn't enjoying it but just because I don't know, I think something else just caught my interest a little bit more and I ended up picking that up and just putting this down. But I would like to finish it and see what happens at the end of the story and just kind of go from there. Um, I think I enjoyed TJ Klune's writing for the most part so I would like to see if maybe he could become a new author that I enjoy. Next I have The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. So this one I also started at the beginning of this year and I never really finished it. Again, not because I wasn't enjoying it, but because I think I just got a little hesitant with where the story was going, but I am really wanting to pick it back up and see where it goes, especially because I would like to finish this and then start the second book since it is a duology and just kind of get that out of the way as well. Next, I have Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I've heard really good things about this one, especially from Erin from Booked and Busy, so I would like to finish this and see where it goes, see if I enjoy it. I know it is a type of, of Mulan retelling it, and so I love Mulan, so I would love to um, go ahead and dive more into this and see how it goes. Lastly, I have War Storm by Victoria Aviard. This is the last book in the Red Queen series. I started this again like I think during the summer and I just put it down but I would like to finish this so I could finish the series this year and be done with it. I started this pretty early on and I haven't didn't really get far far into it so I don't have any thoughts but I have an idea of what I would like to happen but I have no clue if that's gonna actually happen. Alright and then next are books that I would just like to read at some point within the next month or so. So the next book I have is Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. So this this is an arc that I received from Simon Teen. Thank you to them for that. This has already come out by the time this video goes up, so I would just go ahead and like to check it out. I've heard good things about Margaret Rogerson's writing, so I figured this would just be a good way to kind of jump in and see if it's something I enjoy or not and go from there. I believe this is about a like girl who is a beginner nun or a nun in training and she ends up um, getting involved with a benevolent being in order to kind of save her world. Uh, that's kind of what I get from this synopsis. Next, I have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I put this on the list because I've seen everybody rave about this book, and so I am definitely intrigued to try and see what it's all about. Um, also, I wanted to add a few romances in onto this list as well, so I figured why not. Um, I've been told that it is kind of like a Kylo Ren and Rey fanfic almost um but i'm not sure i actually don't really know what this is about i haven't read the synopsis and i kind of don't want to i kind of just want to go in without really knowing anything because it's kind of more fun that way next is a classic i would like to read pride and prejudice by jane austen before the end of this year i've been putting this on my list of reads for forever so i would eventually like to finally get to it um will i i don't know Next, I have another romance, and that's Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. I really enjoyed Fixer Up, and it happened one summer, so I figured I would give her other backlist titles a try as well and see if I enjoyed them as, as much as the other two. Um, I believe this one is following the sister of the main character from Fixer Up and a random guy that like works for her or that she works with as she tries to start her own 
business in competition with her family business. Next is a newer release and that is the second book to Song of Right Through the Ruins, Psalm of Storms and Silence. Um, I decided to add this to the list because it's a duology so I know this is the final book in that uh, duology and I enjoyed the first one for the most part but I'm intrigued enough to pick this up right away and see how it ends and see where the story goes because I kind of don't really have an idea with how the first book ended and I would just like to see if the author does a good job or not. In case you don't know, A Song of Wraith and Ruins is about a girl and a boy who are on kind of opposite sides of this um, magical plan. So the girl loses her mother and in order to save her she has to basically perform this spell that um, needs the heart of a prince so she basically has to get married and then kill him and then the boy um, ends up also losing someone he loves and in order to save that person he has to sacrifice the heart of a queen. So basically they both have to get each other to fall for each other and then someone has to win in sacrificing each other and um, it was definitely an intriguing story. Um, I didn't really like the romance as much. I didn't really feel like it was needed but that's just me so I'm definitely intrigued how um, this rest of the story plays out in this book. Next, I have None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. So um, this was sold to me as if you liked The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is my, one of my favorite series, then you'll like None Shall Sleep. It's about um, these two teenagers who are experts in like teen serial killers, I guess. And so this takes place in like 1982 and um, they get pulled into an FBI case, I guess, to help interview this like notorious teen killer um, in order to help solve this like big case or whatever and the teen ki the killer sets his sights on the main girl and yeah I don't know it definitely gives me the natural vibe so I'm definitely willing to check it out but we'll see I haven't really heard a lot about this but I'm hoping it's good next I have League of Liars by Astrid Schultz um, I joined the street team for this and managed to get an arc from Peng Penguin Teen and the others so thank you to them for this um, this comes out in, I believe, February of next year, 2022, and I'm definitely intrigued to check it out. I really liked Four Dead Queens, so I'm hyped to see how this one goes as well. Um, I believe it's about a couple of teens who have to basically break out of prison, and um, the one main character is supposed to be, like, defending them in court or something or, like, helping them in some way. So that's kind of what I gained from the synopsis. Um, but I'm definitely intrigued to see what else happens and how this goes about because it sounds kind of Six of Crows-ish but obviously different um, overall. I have um, The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, again, one of my favorite authors. Um, this is the sequel to An Inheritance Games, which uh, that one ended really well for me, so I'm excited to see how it continues in this one. Um, they just made it into a, a trilogy, I believe, so that's good for me. Um, <laughs> the In case you don't know, the first book is kind of sold as like a Knives Out-esque story. So it's about this girl who finds out that this billionaire old man who has died left his entire inheritance to her. And so in order for her to claim it, she has to live in the house with his family for the entire year or else it just goes away to like charity or something like that um but along the way while she's living in this house she has to solve all these puzzles that he's left and to figure out like why he left it to her but also she has to figure out who's trying to kill her because someone definitely is i have the baron nightingale by katherine arden um this just looked interesting it sounded interesting and it looked short so i was like why not throw this in the pile um i believe it's about a girl who likes to tell stories and her father brings home a new wife so all of a sudden and they like definitely do not get along and as this new wife comes in and like brings all these changes something weird starts happening in her village and so she kind of has to um figure out what's going on and also um 
still work on hiding these powers that she has and stuff like that. So it just sounds interesting, so I'm willing to give it a try. The last book I have on this list is a doozy, so I, who knows, but I kind of want to read it before the second book comes out next year because they just announced it, um, but we shall see. And that is uh, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Maas. Um, I tried reading this earlier this year and I just kind of, I didn't give up, but I took a break. <laughs> so I want to try it again because it wasn't boring or anything, it was just a kind of intimidating but I want to give it another go and see how I do and if I can enjoy this um, overall all right so that is my end of year TBR thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it um, let me know some of the books that you are trying to finish up by the end of this year or trying to read by the end of this year I would definitely love to know um, if you like the video please go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up if you have any comments questions concerns please leave those in the comment section down below and if you want to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.